everybody, how's it going? B Temple back again. And today, I'm finally getting to a, uh, a modern Canadian ration. Um, I'm, of course, Canadian, and I've been doing this now for a couple of years, and uh, sort of realized that I hadn't actually reviewed a Canadian IMP before, or an individual meal packet. And uh, just recently, I acquired a, a case of 2018 IMPs, so you know, literally made this year, which uh, are particularly hard to find. Canadian IMPs aren't easy to find to begin with, and to find a a full case from this year was, um, I must say, somewhat miraculous, I guess. I gotta give a big thank you to uh, Don Juan 21 from MREinfo.com, who um, basically worked with me and a surplus shop that happens to be in Montreal, I believe, um, to... Uh, get this case for me and then send it along to me, forward along, that kind of thing. There were a, a number of great menus in there. This particular menu, Chicken and Sausage Jambalaya, is a menu that I believe has never been reviewed before on YouTube, so I thought, and of anything in the case, I, uh, I'd be really interested to see what this is actually like. I know what some of the components are probably going to be, but uh, this is a menu, or a main item, I've never actually seen before. I have somewhat of an idea what it may look like, but it could completely surprise me, who knows. But, um, first thing we should do, I suppose, is get this open. So, like anyone who's seen IMP reviews, you know, looks like a, a paper bag lunch kind of thing, but it does have this metal foil lining inside. Let's tear this open and see what we got. Right off the bat, we've got ourselves a lovely piece of Canada. We've got a what will be a fairly fresh Nestle Coffee Crisp bar. Usually, I'll put this off to the side. Usually, these commercially packaged items that end up in Canadian IMPs sometimes they don't really last very well. The packaging isn't as robust as, say, what a normal you know military packaging would be. So they they sometimes bloom really easily and lose their flavor and whatnot. But being a 2018 IMP, hopefully, you know, this will work out pretty well. I'll just let you know what the rest of it looks like inside. We've got our main and our dessert that sort of are the bookends, I guess, and everything else is kind of stuffed inside in the middle. For dessert, we've got sliced peaches with a date code of 17339. So this was actually packed on the 339th day of 2017, but it just so happens to be in a 2018 ration, so... You know, these were made near the end of the year of 2017. Get ourselves an Escafé Sweet and Creamy. So this would be a th like a three-in-one kind of coffee. Got a vanilla drink mix. And it's got 12 grams of protein, so I'm sure it's meant to be some sort of like protein powder, I suppose. Get ourselves our hamburger bun. I don't like these as much as the old IMP rectangular shaped breads that we used to get that I ended I'm sure right around like 2013, 2014, something like that. Wish they brought those back, but these are still not bad. I mean, it's still a, a very close facsimile to actual bread, more so than say a wheat snack bread would be in a American ration. Got ourselves a crunchy barbecue mix, which according to the ingredients has things like toasted corn in it and uh, let's see, soybeans, two things like that. So we'll see exactly what it's made up of. You can tell that the packaging is a little different. This is more of the lighter color, which we saw for many years in Canadian rations. The newer made stuff, you know, has this slightly darker tan color. To go with the hamburger bun, if you want, we got ourselves some strawberry jam, some peanut butter. And you can notice, once again, the peanut butter is in a much different package than the Canadian, uh, than the sort of tan strawberry jam. This peanut butter is actually made by the Thermopack company in the USA. So this is the same exact peanut butter as American MRE peanut butter. We have two sports drinks. These are both orange flavor and they're both made 327.17, so, you know, near the end. We've got our main, which is actually made by the Warner Company in the United States. It even has a sticker here, Inspected U.S., Department of Agriculture. So it's chicken and sausage jambalaya. We'll show you the nutritional facts there. We've got our Canadian beverage bag. Nice little gusset on the bottom. Got our very large brown paper towel, basically, for whatever 
you happen to need that for. A few other odds and ends, we got ourselves a packet of Frank's Red Hot Sauce, a packet of matches, a little tiny pack of Tic Tacs, which have four Tic Tacs in it. An interesting item, this is, looks like maybe it might be a mint or something like that, but it's got a little maple leaf emboss in it. This is actually a compressed napkin. So you pour a little bit of water over this and then it actually kind of puffs up and you can unfurl it and it ends up being almost like a moist towelette kind of thing. So it's interesting they give you the brown paper towel and this as well. And lastly, the new Canadian IMP spoon. Canadian IMPs were known for their very long white spoon. They decided to make something that was very similar to USMRE spoons, except they had the kind of spork tip instead. And this is actually longer by perhaps like a half inch or so compared to the USMRE spoon. So this is a very good item. So guys, this is everything. It's a fairly comprehensive meal, I guess, is the best way to put it. What we're gonna do is um, get the main out and get that heated up in some boiling water. It's probably the best way to heat that up. And then we'll get everything else uh, unpacked. Before I put it in, I just got to show you guys. This is 240 grams. This is the main. And this is dense. So I'm sure it's probably like rice based. So this is a very large main entry. And it was made, it said 17351. So literally, you know, five days before the end of 2017. There we go. Yeah, 361, I mean. 17361. So right at the very end of December from last year. All right, so we got everything laid out. Uh, the main is in some boiling water and heating up. So I guess the first thing we'll do is probably get some of our drinks mixed up. That's the easiest thing. So it comes with two orange sports drinks. I'll just mix up one and we'll get our vanilla drink mix mixed up as well. So this is only supposed to be used for 250 mils of water. So only a cup of water. These Dr. Utker brand uh, drink mixes are always really good quality. They seem to taste a little more natural than uh, USMRE beverage base powders. And next, we'll do our vanilla drink mix. I always have really bad luck when it comes to protein drink powders and them, you know, still being incredibly clumpy. So, basically it says... Spread bottom of pouch and add cold water to the fill line, which is right here. A little bit of vanilla powder dust floating around. So this doesn't take very much, seeing that the fill line is right here, so not much water actually goes into this. Yeah, that looks about right. So we'll zip this up, fold it over a little bit just to decrease the chance of uh, spillage. Let's give it a shake and see if we can reconstitute this a little better. Okay, so I shook that vigorously as if I was shaking a can of paint. Let's uh, see if this turns out at least half sensible. It smells amazing. I tell you, it smells exactly like US MRE vanilla dessert pudding mix, which is a, a very, very pleasant smell. And I'm impressed it uh, didn't come out in a big pot of clumps. So that's a win in my book. So we'll just lay that off to the side a little bit. Unpack the rest of our items. We'll just open up our Crispy, I mean our coffee crisp. So there you go. No bloom whatsoever. It's interesting. This is a, you know, a Canadian item. It smells more coffee-like than it actually tastes. I find, you know, when you actually eat it, it's a little bit more of a subdued coffee flavor. And I don't really like coffee. And I certainly don't like the taste of coffee very much. But this is at least something I can... I can sort of get behind because, hey, it's 
you know, chocolate and wafer and all that kind of stuff. So you, you can't really complain about that. Next, we'll open up our crunchy barbecue mix. It's incredibly vacuum sealed. Okay, and it was actually only those two items that I saw on the ingredients list. It's just soybeans and I guess toasted corn kernels or corn nuts. That smells fantastic. Next we'll open up our hamburger bun. So here you have it. Basically looks like a slightly squat hamburger bun. Now it's not, one thing I don't like, they don't cut them all the way, they cut them about, you know, three quarters of the way, and you gotta kinda tear it off in your hand. I find these usually very dry, but that at least seems somewhat sensible. And lastly, we have our sliced peaches and they're uh, in a different color kind of bag. It's tan, but it also has like a little bit of a, almost like a little bit of a green, yellow kind of, kind of hue in the background. So this is a, a different type of packaging that I've never seen. It's a, I guess the new color, the new standard. And it just doesn't want to tear very well. And very simply, that just looks like, you know, canned peaches in a, in a syrup and a juice kind of thing. Uh, I don't think I'm going to end up using the bread for the main. So the best thing to probably do is to just get our PB&J burger kind of thing going. First we'll get our strawberry jam opened up. I always find the Canadian jams, they taste really, really well. They taste really, really good, I guess is a better way to put it. Um... They never give you quite enough. Like I'd like to have like maybe like half as much of that again in the packet, but I doubt that's gonna happen. And then we got our peanut butter. Seems a little dense near the top, so we'll just knead it up a little bit. And I tore this in the just most worst possible fashion you could. I hate using these because I can never get that nice little tear off the corner. We'll put these two together and make our sandwich. Okay guys, so our main's been heating now for a while. Seems pretty good. Let's uh, try to push this down a little bit because this pack is just utterly filled. And there you go, it is certainly a rice dish. And I gotta say, I'm not a huge fan of ration rice dishes especially when they're packed in, in retort pouches like that because i always find that where they're too dense they also end up being a little bit dry but now that i'm breaking this apart it does actually look pretty good so what we have here we've got a lot of rice with uh i guess sort of a cajun kind of smell to it's the best way to put it and get a lot of pepper i guess is the main over overlying smell we got these little slices of sausage it look a little bit more like pepperoni than, say, your standard sort of breakfast sausage item that you would find in, you know, MPs. You know, your sausage and hash browns, that kind of thing, or your uh, breakfast patties, whatever. So, uh, so while there's still a little bit of steam coming off of this, it's nice and hot. Let's get a little bit of everything in one spoonful. See, I got some chicken, got some sausage. Looks pretty good. Let's give it a try. That is incredibly flavorful, which you don't always say for. For ration items, especially ration rice items, I find they get a little bit bland. But I don't know if it's the rice base itself, whatever seasoning they have on the rice, or if it's the sausage itself. But there's a little tiny bit of spice that you get there, and uh, you know, it's a fairly complex kind of flavor. I'm getting a lot of, a lot of, I guess maybe like paprika, like crushed red pepper. It's not overly spicy. It's not overpowering in any way. But you do get a little tiny bit of that after effect, and uh, it's really, really pleasant. With that said, as good as it tastes, this, um, I guess the chicken gets lost in it. I know there's chicken there, I can see it. But the sausage and the pepper flavor that you're getting from everything else really overpowers the chicken. Not to say that's a bad thing. And I normally would be someone who's not a huge fan of sausage in, um, 
you know, ration items. But I must say, this is absolutely delicious. This is perhaps one of the best IMP mains I've ever had, aside from perhaps the lamb and vegetable stew from way back when. Perfectly flavorful. Doesn't need salt. Doesn't need any other seasoning. That is amazing. Let's cleanse the palate a little bit. Tried our orange sports drink. That's just wonderful and refreshing. I find it doesn't taste at all like USMRE beverage based powder orange. Yeah, this tastes. It's not so full of electrolytes. Sort of the, the taste is there. You know, you don't get that that um, aftertaste. I suppose that's sort of usually left around when it comes to you know beverage based powders. It just seems a little more natural, even though I'm, I'm, I know it isn't. Obviously, you can tell by the color that it's not probably not natural. But it just, you know, seems better in some way. Um, so, yeah, the main is fantastic. Let's give our hamburger bun with our peanut butter and jelly a try. And I tell you what, I love the jam in IMPs much more than any jam you find in an American ration. Obviously not as good as some of the rations you'll find in Europe, the jams they put in there. But when it comes to just sort of, you know, one of your little small standard tear packets of jam. You uh, you can't go wrong with that. That peanut butter tastes fantastic. It tastes just like USMRE peanut butter because it is USMRE peanut butter. Um, let's give our, I guess, our nut mix a try. Although it's not really a nut mix. It's just soybeans and toasted corn kernels with sort of a barbecue flavoring on them. Then I realize now I took probably way too much. And that's just an absolutely perfect, um, I guess, snack, I suppose. You know, a salty, sort of crunchy kind of snack. You don't really pick up much of a flavor of the actual corn nuts or the, the soybeans. The soybeans aren't quite as crunchy, obviously, as the corn nuts are. But that barbecue flavor is on it. It's a little bit sweet. It's a little bit salty. You know, it's a little bit tangy, a little bit smoky. It tastes an awful lot like the, um, the Nut Walker brand barbecue peanuts that you find in a number of rations. Sometimes you find them in uh, Norwegian rations and Swedish rations and a few other European countries use them and, and they're usually delicious. So that's a great addition to IMPs. This is only a sort of a new item that's been around for a year or so. Um, so I hope, they keep, I hope they keep that around. Let's give our vanilla drink, I guess sort of a protein drink, a try now. Yeah, that's delicious. Basically tastes like you took... Um, MRE vanilla instant pudding mix, and you added too much water to it, you know, so it wouldn't set. It's um, not too sweet. There obviously is sweetness in there. There obviously is going to be sugar in there. But it's a very nice sort of vanilla kind of flavor. And uh, it mixed up really well. I'm surprised. It's probably the first time I've ever had a, a protein drink mix mix up properly. It's a little bit thick. Maybe I could have put a little bit more water in there. The consistency is, you know, a little bit grainy, I suppose, in the fact that it's thick. But it's not off-putting in any way. So, um, I gotta say, everything so far has been fantastic. This has been a great overall menu. All we really have left is our dessert items. And one thing I do like about Canadian IMPs is the fact that they still give us fruit. Now, let's use the spork side of the spoon. Looks just like sort of canned peaches. Let's give it a try. Oh yeah, and those are great. Maybe they've lost a little bit of their, their density, I guess. They're a little bit soft. And I don't know if that was just something they, they were to start with. But they taste just like any of your standard, you know, canned peaches or, you know, pack of peaches kind of thing you'd use for like a snack or something like that. There's a, no complaints about that whatsoever. Nice and sweet. At least you're getting a little bit of fruit. I know you're probably losing an awful lot of the nutritional value in uh, packaging it that in that manner. But at least even more from a morale boost. You know, you, you get to say you're eating a little bit of fruit. Lastly, guys, we've got our commercially packed Coffee Crisp Bar, which is a very good chocolate bar found here in Canada, made by Nestle. And let's give it a try. And yeah, that's perfect. It doesn't taste any different than if you walked into the shop today and picked one up. Take a look at the cross section there. It's obviously it's a chocolate bar. You got little tiny thin layers of, of wafer with very small layers of sort of coffee flavor cream. And then in the center, you have this wider area, which is once again kind of like aerated 
coffee cream. And uh, it's fantastic. Like I said, it smells a lot more coffee-like than it actually tastes. So if you're someone who loves coffee and you're looking for like a really strong coffee kick, you will not get it from this. But if you're someone like me, who doesn't like coffee, but, uh, you know, enjoys chocolate and other sweet stuff, uh, this is sort of a fantastic way to kind of just get that hint of coffee flavor. So guys, this has been a, a 2018 chicken and sausage jambalaya, Canadian IMP. It's uh, menu number 11, and uh, got to thank Diamond 21 once again for helping me uh, procure the whole case of 2018 rations, and there's a lot of other great menus in there. There's some duplicates as well, so I've got, you know, I believe six out of the ten rations that are in the box are, uh, are duplicates, so, you know, three doubles, I guess is the best way to put it. And then there was four single sort of menus. This chicken and sausage jambalaya was one of the single ones, so I've got none of these left anymore. And uh, it's a little disappointing because this has to be one of the best main items from an IMP I've ever had. And when it comes to every single item here, I literally can't make any complaints whatsoever. Everything was absolutely perfect. Probably because of the fact that it's brand new. Brand new-ish, I guess. It seems like everything was packed right around a year ago from right now when I'm filming. And you usually don't find IMPs that uh, that fresh. So to get the chance to review something from uh, 2018, that's... Um, it's pretty special when it comes to an IMP, and uh, I'm I'm happy that I uh, chose this particular menu, and I happen to you know be lucky enough to get it. So guys, this is it, I guess. Um, not quite sure exactly what the next review is going to be. I uh, I just did a, a Korean War review. My last two reviews actually were Korean War reviews, and uh, I don't know if I'm going to move on to something vintage again or try something else that's new. But uh, I'll be try to get back to you all as quick as I possibly can. I'd like to thank you all for stopping by, and uh, have a good one.